Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to share uh, the harvesting video of my uh, end of the year culture which I had started in the last year in the winter season. Overall, uh, the experience was quite good and I learned so many things uh, from it which I am going to share with you people so that it may help you when you start your own culture. Okay, so please don't skip this video and watch it till the end and if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing it so that whenever I am going to upload new content on my channel, you will be notified and you can easily access those contents. Alright. In aquaculture, the winter season is known as the maintenance time where uh, the traditional farmers, they clean their pond and they do all sort of maintenance work to make it ready for the next culture. When the temperature is back to normal, that is more than 28 uh, degrees, they start uh, stocking up the uh, fishes or the shrimps. Normally in the winter season, the weather is uh, uh, low uh, and uh, because of this low temperature, the fish or uh, whether it's a fish or the shrimp they to they don't take much feed okay and the feed waste is more the disease there is also chances of uh, disease outbreak and uh, it is very difficult to maintain the water parameters because of all these uh, issues uh, the traditional farmers they don't uh, prefer to do the culture in the winter time and that's why they do all sort of maintenance uh, work on this uh, winter time and they make it ready for the next season when the temperature is back to normal so i intentionally started this culture in the winter to understand all sort of the pains okay and uh, for that reason i have started the culture in the month of october that is in the winter season and i have successfully completed the culture and in this video i am going to share all this uh, data with you people so that it may help you when you uh, start your own culture so keep watching this video till then because it will be a bit uh, longer video if you are following my channel for some time, you must be knowing that I have started a new uh, 10 lakh liter biflock project and uh, due to this new project, uh, my uh, experimental project was highly ignored in last two months time because of which uh, lots of mortality happened. The result could have better if I would have spent a good quality amount of time uh, to monitor in this project okay so anyways uh, let's talk about the final harvesting data and uh, here are the facts and the takeaways uh, from this project i have started this project uh, to understand what should be the right stocking density of the venom shrimps in a biflux system to understand that i have started this experiment with uh, three different tanks and all of my tanks were 10,000 liter tank in uh, all of the tanks i have stocked uh, three different uh, stocking density and uh, here are the details in the tank number one uh, the water capacity is 10,000 liter and the stocking density is uh, 10,000 pieces and uh, at the time of harvesting the overall uh, average body weight uh, was 8 gram total harvesting uh, roughly uh, 39 kg mortality was in between 45 to 50 percent FCRA was uh, 0 0.7 and the culture duration was 120 days so if you have watched my last uh, video uh, the 90 days video the overall uh, growth was same uh, during the 90 days period and i don't uh, see much growth difference between 90 days and 120 days all right so in tank number two uh, this tank also 10,000 liter tank where i kept uh, 6,000 pieces of venom shrimp at the time of harvesting, uh, the overall uh, body weight of those shrimps were uh, 12 gram. Total harvesting was 38 kg and uh, total harvesting uh, was done uh, roughly uh, 38 kg. Okay. And uh, mortality was in between 50% uh, to 55%. FCR was uh, 0 0.7. The culture duration was 120 days. So here also I don't see much uh, growth difference between 90 days and 120 days. In the tank number 3, uh, the water capacity the same is a 10,000 liter tank where I kept 4,500 pieces of the Venami shrimp. At the time of harvesting, the average uh, body weight was 13 gram and total harvesting was done uh, roughly 31 kg. Mortality was 50% uh, to 60% and uh, FCR was 0.7% uh, and the culture duration was uh, more than 128 days because this tank I harvested a bit late. The feeding management and uh, monitoring of this project was uh, highly ignored uh, because we all are busy with our new project engagements 
and uh, apart from that uh, we do not see uh, much uh, issues related to water parameters like ammonia nitrite alkalinity do okay so everything was uh, quite good even uh, there, uh, there was no disease issues so except the temperature was lying uh, uh, below 24 degree and uh, that is the only uh, issues we uh, experience and uh, because of that reason the growth was impacted apart from that uh, rest everything was uh, quite good in this project i am going to repeat the same project once again in the summer season uh, to understand the difference between the summer and the winter season and i am going to share all this information in my channel okay so if you are new to my channel please consider subscribing it okay so this time i'll be doing bit differently uh, nowadays what i i was doing is directly stocking the uh, packet seeds uh, in my production tank and i was growing okay so during that time you never know uh, how many of those streams are dying at the first week itself okay so you do not have the concrete data so this time i'm going to implement the nursery management in place where i'll be growing them in the nursery tank for 15 to 20 days once they're well grown okay and uh, i'll be shifting them to the production so that i'll have proper management of uh, feed okay and i can e easily at the time of uh, harvesting i can also have a uh, better count and uh, i can understand that the data will be more uh, concrete uh, than the way i'm doing it uh, right now okay so all this information i'm going to uh, share in my channel okay so if you are new to my channel please consider subscribing it all right so this was all about uh, this uh, culture and here are some of the takeaways so if you are planning to uh, do the culture in the winter time the growth rate will be very slow the mortality will be a bit high because of the low temperature and the feed congestion will be very low because uh, in the low temperature what happened uh, the shrimps uh, they are not that much active and the feed consumption also very low and the feed wasters will be very high okay so this was uh, all about uh, um, uh, about uh, this uh, culture if you have any queries or any questions uh, please uh, you can whatsapp me or you can uh, uh, put your questions or uh, queries on the comment section and i'll try to respond to you as soon as possible this video is a bit longer if you wish you can also watch this video till the end so that you can understand the way uh, the harvesting is ha happening in the bioflux system thank you so much uh, for watching my video okay so see you next time with uh, some new content with some uh, new information till then bye bye take care and enjoy this video thank you so much